नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू हिंदी यूनिवर्सिटी विल गेट स्टार्टेड शॉर्टली रियली एक्साइटेड टू हैव ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन दिस संडे couple of minutes and the class will start all righty let's get started right uh, welcome everyone uh, welcome to hindi university my name is ashutosh um, as you know we meet every sunday um, 8 am uh, us specific time to learn about the hindi language uh, we've been doing that for the past uh, 12 plus years Uh, for those of you who are new to Hindi University, you can learn more about us by going to our YouTube channel, uh, YouTube.com/HindiUniversity, and uh, you will find over 550 uh, plus Hindi uh, learning uh, tutorials. Um, if you are interested in more like systematic uh, structure, you can also go to Tiny.cc/HindiUniversity, where we have you know arranged all the courses or classes uh, at different levels. okay a uh, 101 102 and you will be finding some hindi exams as well to help you uh, determine your current level of like you know uh, uh, you know hindi le- learning lab- uh, level okay um so uh, in the la- last few classes we've started discussing a little bit more advanced concepts uh, in this class i plan to to do the same uh, we'll be go over going over one of the topic which you've not done um you know in the past so before i get started just give me a quick thumbs up if you can on the facebook side if you can hear the audio clearly um and then right after that we'll we'll get started okay um and as always you know your participation is highly encouraged the more you participate the better our classes are okay so uh don't be afraid to make mistakes um that's that's how we we all learn uh, so it's okay to make mistakes um So uh in this class I'll be covering over a uh, a new topic which is often used as an adverb you know in Hindi okay uh we've learned you know if you want to say uh you know a um, beautiful day in Hindi you know how to say it okay uh if you have to say uh um If you have to say like tall girl in Hindi, you know how to how to say it in Hindi. Okay. Um, now, let me let me put uh, Dimitri on the spot and let me ask him like, how will you say beautiful day in Hindi? And similarly, how do you say tall girl in Hindi? Sundar din. Very good, right? So you will say Sundar din or Sunhera din. What about tall girl? Or uh, lumbi ladki. Very good, right? So you will say lumbi ladki. Okay. So th- this is how we have done uh, in the past. Uh, you have a noun and you have like an adjective. Uh, but what if your sentences were? Uh, Maddie, there is some background noise. Uh, can you please uh, put? Yeah. Very good. So now at the same time, what if you were to be asked to say such a beautiful day? such a beautiful day uh, and similarly such a such a tall girl okay now things have changed all of a sudden okay how will you say same thing uh, in hindi now so without the prior context let's ask if you know you are already familiar with that so let me ask again dimitri how will you say such a beautiful day i have no idea no idea right similarly such a such a tall girl it becomes harder so in this class or in the next 30 minutes our goal is to master this topic how do you say these keywords in hindi there is an adverb uh, and it is used as uh, itna okay you can also say itni or itne based on what's following uh, the adverb whether it is a day or a girl okay so just to recap you will be saying itna itni or itne okay based on the gender of the uh, the the noun that you have 
and the way you will write it in Devanagari, I'm going to write it right here. So hopefully you can all read it here as well. You will be saying, E, Victor, Enna, Itna, Itni, E, Victor, Enni, and Itni. Okay? So hope this makes sense. Now let's give it a try again without me giving you any hint. Dimitri, uh, you want to give it a try? Such a beautiful day. Itna Sundardin. Very good. It's a now, let's say a full sentence. It's such a beautiful day. Yaha Itna Sundardin hai. Very good, right? And uh, she is such a tall girl. Very good, right? So, as, as you immediately guessed, girl is uh, feminine. So, we'll be saying um, itni instead of itna. Okay? So, this is sort of the, the concept. Uh, you know, I hope it makes sense to all of you. Uh, let me erase it and, um, you know, let me erase it and give you more examples. Okay? So, as you see, such a beautiful day, it immediately becomes itna sundar din. Itna sundar din hai. I don't have to put even the pronoun in front of it. Uh, such a tall girl. Uh, itni lambi ladki hai. Right? I mean, all of a sudden, you kind of like, you know, you're giving quality to that, you know, adjective by saying it. Okay? Such a tall girl. Uh, okay? Um, now, let's give more examples to it. Let's put some more flavors to it. And for those of you who just join on Google Hangout, uh, just put yourself on mute. So there's no background noise. Okay, so let's, and I call it type one sentences before I jump to the next one. Um, such an expensive, such an expensive trip. So this is a little bit more like, you know, uh, so I want to think about it. How will you say it? And then I'm going to ask some of you as well. Uh, such a, such an expensive trip. Okay, and then the other one is um, such uh, an experience, no? such a bad experience, such a bad experience. So you see, these are like longer, and it may come across as like a little bit complicated, but don't worry about the the words. So let's see how will we say them in Hindi, okay? This time I'm going to ask Taraji, uh, how will you say such an expensive trip in Hindi? You to unmute yourself, I can't, yeah, come closer. Uh, it's not a trip. Okay, how will you say, is it, do, do, what do you think, the trip is it uh, masculine or feminine? Feminine, right? So you'll say? Uh, Very good, right? So it's itni mehengi trip. Or you can say itni mehengi if you buy uh, an airline ticket, which is very expensive. You can say itni mehengi ticket, right? And uh, often time you will see that, you know, Hindi learn speakers, when they're using itna or itni or itne, there'll be some, you know, facial expressions and the same keyword, you know, uh, can be used both for, you know, something which is a lot as well as less, okay? And we will cover that in type two, okay? So, itni mehengi trip or itni mehengi ticket, okay? Now, next one, I'm going to ask Navneet this time, such a bad experience. Uh, how will you say Navneet this in, in Hindi? Very good, very very good, right? Itna bura. Either you can say experience, or the Hindi word for experience is anubhav. Anubhav. Say it again. Anubhav. Itna bura anubhav. Okay. Such a very good, right? So awesome. So um, awesome. Let's see what our friends are saying uh, on Facebook. Uh, Itni mehengi trip. That's what Tisaji is saying. Um, 
let me see tara ji uh, which part is it the on the facebook it is not clear or on the on the google hangout let me quickly ask uh, tara ji tara ji saying the video is not is it on the let me see if i can uh, is it better tara ji if you don't mind unmute yourself and tell us the video no it's not clear it's not clear no is on the on the facebook or on the on the google google i see okay um okay so um let's try to watch it on the on the if it is not clear try to watch it on the on the facebook side i see so i'm going to fix it on the uh, when you uh, blurry on facebook okay so i think it's probably auto adjusting on facebook so i'll try to to not move too much so you know it doesn't auto adjust um but in any in any case just focus on my words you know on what i'm speaking so it there is a lesser distraction you know uh, when uh, you know the screen is auto adjusting okay so again just to repeat such a such an expensive trip you mentioned uh, itni mehangi trip um and similarly such a bad experience itna bura anubhav now lot of time you know you people or hindi learners instead of itni you will see them saying bahut also bahut mehange trip okay or bahut bura anubhav or bahut bura experience that's correct as well but right now the focus of this class is to emphasize on such okay um so those were sort of your type one related scenarios uh, now um let me take a pause if you guys can think on your own uh, how will you use this on your day to day you know life where think about the scenarios where you can use it so this time i'm going to ask all of you each of you um uh, dimitri where can you think of some examples Astosh, yeah. इतना इतना अच्छा 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 अध्यापक है। है। Okay, very good, right? So, इतना अच्छा teacher और अध्यापक। okay, इतना अच्छा teacher. Awesome. Uh, where else? Me again? Uh, yeah, go for it. इतना ओके इतना बुरा मौसम वेरी गुड इतना बुरा मौसम तारा जी इतना इतना बड़े शहर जहाज ओ इतना बड़ा जहाज वेरी गुड राइट इतना बड़ा जहाज व्हाट इज जहाज तारा जी Very good. इतना बड़ा जहाज वेरी गुड ऑसम यू वॉन्ट टू है मोर आफ्टर दैट आई एम इतनी बारिश ओके सो यू विल नॉट से ट्वाइस इट्स इतनी बारिश सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ इट रेन्ड हैवली इन द पास्ट यू कैन से इतनी बारिश हुई Okay, and that's like it rained heavily. You're saying it in the past, so you're using the past form of "hona." Itni barish hui. Awesome. Namneet. Ah, uh, itna bada shahar. Itna bada shahar. Awesome. Itna bada shahar. What? What else, Namneet? कछुआ इतना छोटा कछुआ ओके व्हाट इज कछुआ छोड़ो छोटा नो व्हाट इज कछुआ यू आर सेइंग इतना छोटा कछुआ नहीं छोड़ो आई थिंक आई थिंक कछुआ इफ यू आर सेइंग कछुआ इट्स अ इज दैट व्हाट यू आर सेइंग इट इज छोड़ो आई एम स्पेल इट मेबी मेबी आई एम मिसिंग समथिंग 
Okay, if you're saying Kachua, it's a turtle. Yeah. Okay. Itna chota Kachua, turtle. Awesome. And now let's see what our friends are saying on on um, on Facebook. So Anilji is saying a trip is suffer. So suffer is also trip. That's right. Uh, but as as you know, uh, some of the the keywords you know they can be masculine in Hindi, but if you're using the English word like trip is considered you know feminine okay um, for example you'll say suhana suffer that's suhana is used for suffer which is masculine but trip is uh, you know feminine that's why it's itni mehengi trip okay uh, tisa ji is saying yeh itni uh, achi kitab hai um, um, yeh, so that's that's correct right mujhe pasand hai that, that's right itni itni achi kitab uh, similarly um, I think Tisaji has also responded with the same comment and let's see. Um, so I think if the light change is worsening, I'm going to change it again. Um, so you can see, see a little bit bright. Um, all right. So we'll keep going. So this was your type one and um, hopefully this is clear. It tells you about if you want to say something in, in quantity or you know if you want to express them in magnitude you can use itna, itni and itne. Okay. Second one is similar but you will see often see Hindi speakers putting additional keywords. Okay. So I am going to do type 2. Um, so type 2 is you know where you will be saying itna, itni and itne along with that you will be saying itna sa, itni si or itne se. Okay. Um, and I will give you an example of that as well. Okay. Uh, itna sa. Okay. So let us say you, um, you know, you come to my house or, you know, and I am offering you, um, you know, I made a tea for you um, and um, I ask you like, would you like to have Chi, chai or tea, kya aap chai lenge? And you say, haan, main chai lunga. Okay? I ask you further again, like, aap kitni chai lenge? Okay? Aap kitni chai lenge? Dimitri, how will you, how can you respond? Aap kitni chai lenge? Very good, right? So you can, and often time when people are using this word, itni si, you will see that naturally their expressions are coming. So they can say, main itni si chai lunga. So you can make a, a shape of the cup and you know, uh, you can say, main itni si chai lunga. Okay? So itni si and then your sort of object here. So it could be itni si chai because chai is considered feminine. Okay? Itni si chai. So I'm gonna just put three categories so it's you know you you it is clear. Main itni si chai piunga. Okay. Or you can say that you know even without me asking you, let's say that you know you go to a place and you know you don't want them to make too much chai and you can say main itni si chai lunga. So don't basically it's you're giving them the indication don't make too much. Okay. What about milk? Um, let's say some of you may not like you know chai and you like to drink milk. Um, how will you say that? Taraji? Very good. Itna sa dood. Itna sa dood. Awesome. And um, what else? What else can you think of? Like yogurt. What do you think? Yogurt, is it uh, mascul uh, masculine or feminine? Navneet? Yogurt. Do you know Hindi word for yogurt? I think yogurt is masculine. Yeah. And so, it is not yogurt. Yeah. Itna sa yogurt or you can say itna sa dahi. Dahi is the Hindi word for yogurt. Yes. Okay. Itna sa dahi. Okay. Um, let's see, um, 
Now, what about itne se? Let's do one word, you know, for itne se as well. Let's see. Atara ji, you want to give it a try? Itne se? Itne se jute, okay. Uh, okay. Um, try one more time. Itne se pen I want to say. Ten item? Itne se pen. Pen, okay. Itne se, okay. Okay, itne se. Let me give some more hint. Um, so, this is clear, right? Itna sa dood, itna sa dahi, itni si dal, itni si chai. Itne se, um, you can say, itne se, um, now I am also thinking what is the easiest way to explain it without, uh, uh, okay, itne se, what, what are you saying, Maddie? Okay, I, 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 I thought I hear something. Okay, so you can say it's an S. Huh? Spell it. Rice. I mean rice. Rice or it's Very good. So chawal is, that's right. It's a So that's sort of masculine plural. It's Um So that's correct. Itne se? Paratas. I, you spell it. Paroka. Okay, so chawal, okay. Rice, you can say. Itne se, badal also, you can say. Clouds. Okay, itne se, itne se badal. Okay, so. So the point is anything which is masculine plural, you can use it with that. So you can say itne se chawal, uh, you know, small um, quantity of rice. Similarly, let's say you know, you know, you you are two friends walking and you're saying that it might rain. Other other person can say no, itne se badal hai, you know, barish nahi hogi. There are such a little clouds, it might not rain. Okay, so masculine plural. plural. So in type two only, you know, often time. You know, it can be, people can say instead of sa, it, you can see people saying sara. Okay, itna sara. And same thing is like, you know, as opposed to small quantity, it's big. Itna sara dood. And, you know, you'll say, you will hear and you'll notice that people have a different expressions all together. Itna sara dood, that means it's a big, huge quantity of uh, milk. Okay. Similarly, like you can say, itna sara dahi, lot of yogurt. Uh, Itni sari, same thing. Here, itni sari da, like you know, let's say you know, you go home and mom cooked huge meal or she made a lot of dal. You like itni sari dal, who will eat it? Kon khayega? Okay, similarly, chai, itni sari chai. And last one, itne sare. Okay, itne sare chawal, itne sare badal, itne sare bache. Okay, um, let's say, or itne sare log. Okay, uh, so log is also masculine plural. So you, you say that, you know, oh, main India gaya, itne sare log the. Okay, um, similarly, like, main ek museum ghoomne gaya, I went to see a museum, uh, itne sare log the. There were so many people. Okay, so you can use to express quantity there again. Okay, let me take a pause here and I want each of you to think about some examples where you can say this expression itna sara it itni sari or itne sare okay uh, again for here in in devanagari you can say itni sari sa uh, and then itni sari okay um sorry it, itni sari is this one uh, itna sara i'm gonna write it here so you can say Itna. Itna sara. Okay, if there's a lot of work, you can say, 
इतना सारा काम है सो मच वर्क ओके इतना सारा and I'm, I can give you some examples here as well. इतना सारा काम so not just these object but like even for इतना सारा काम है that means there's a lot of work okay uh, इतनी सारी मेहनत lot of hard work okay you can use that as well so let me take a pause here and let's see what you guys think and if you guys can give me examples Tara ji पेड़ ओ इतने सारे पेड़ ओके ऑसम राइट सो यू कैन से इतने सारे चावल इतने सारे बादल इतने सारे लोग और इतने सारे पेड़ दैट्स राइट यू कैन से इतने सारे पेड़ सो मेनी ट्रीज ऑसम व्हाट एल्स इतनी सारी गाड़ियां इतनी सारी गाड़ियां ग्रेट राइट सो मेनी कार्स इतना सा ओके इतना सारा शोर और यू कैन इवन से इतना शोर दैट्स आल्सो करेक्ट इतना शोर इतना शोर हो रहा है ओके और यू कैन से इतना शोर क्यों हो रहा है व्हाई इट इज सो मच नॉइस गुड गुड असम डिमिट्री यू वांट टू गिव इट अ ट्राई इतनी सारी किताबें इतनी सारी किताबें सो मेनी बुक्स राइट दैट्स राइट What else? इतने सारे कुत्ते सो मेनी डॉग्स ओके स्ट्रे एनिमल्स यू कैन से दैट राइट लेट्स सी वॉट अदर पीपल आर सेंग ओके सो क्रिस्टिना जी सेंग इतने सारे लोग दैट्स राइट वॉट एल्स देर सो मेनी फोक्स ऑन द फेसबुक साइड वॉट यू गैस थिंक आनंद जी एंड टिशा जी एंड शरीन क्रिस्टिना जी Feel free to chime in and provide your comments. Okay, इतना सारा दूध काम दही ओके ग्रेट ओके यू कैन ऑल्सो से इतने सारे दिन इतने सारे दिन लाइक यू नो सो मेनी डेज इतने दिन इज यूज बट वाइल वी आर ऑन दिस टॉपिक यू कैन से दैट इतने सारे दिन ओके सो दिस इज योर टाइप टू ओके आई होप दिस इज क्लियर नाउ Within type two, I want to give some more elaborate sentences. So let me erase it, and uh, I'm going to write. So far, these are like you know, uh, smaller sort of like subset of a sentence. Okay. Now I want to use them with edge. Uh, you know, elaborate them. Let's call it type three actually. Okay. And uh, you can say, "Itna acha." लड़का है ओके सो आई कैन से लाइक लेट्स आई एम गोना यूज योर नेम डिमिट्री इतना अच्छा लड़का है ओके नाउ अच्छा इन दिस केस इज एडजेक्टिव एंड इतना इज यूज एज एन एडवर्ब इतना अच्छा लड़का है यू नो इफ आई डोंट वांट टू यूज इतना आई कैन से डिमिट्री एक अच्छा लड़का है ओके आई एम नॉट क्वालिफाइंग इट बट बट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू क्वालिफाई इट लाइक इन क्वान्टिटी आई कैन यूज इतना डिमिट्री इतना अच्छा लड़का है यू नो दैट यू नो आई कैन स्टॉप टॉकिंग अबाउट हेम ओके सो दैट्स वन एग्जाम्पल यू कैन से इतना इतना लंबा ब्रिज है लेट्स यू गो टू अ ब्रिज एंड इट्स नॉट एंडिंग इतना लंबा ब्रिज है यू कैन से दैट सो अगेन लंबा ब्रिज इट्स लंबा इज योर a regular adjective bridge is a bridge or pull in hindi but you want to qualify that okay uh, you can say itna lamba bridge hai okay um so that's use of itna what about now you don't want to use you can say that ashu ji these are so many just adjectives and you know noun say something else okay itni sahi baat boli hai ओके इतनी सही सही इज अ करेक्ट और यू नो अप्रोप्रिएट इतनी सही बात ओके इतनी सही बात कही सो यू कैन से क 
कही इज यू नो पास टेंस ऑफ कहना यू कैन से उसने इतनी सही बात कही ही सेट सच अ सच एन एप थिंग और अप्रोप्रिएट थिंग ओके इतनी सही बात बोली ओके okay? और यू कैन से ट्रेन मैं स्टेशन पे खड़ा था ट्रेन इतनी जल्दी आई ट्रेन केम सो क्विकली और सो फास्ट दैट्स आल्सो यूज ऑफ इतनी ओके लेट्स से सो दीज आर सॉर्ट ऑफ योर इतना दिस इज इतनी यू कैन से इतने दिनों के बाद ओके okay? इतने दिनों के बाद आफ्टर सो मेनी डेज ओके यू कैन से इतने दिनों के बाद बारिश हुई है इट रेन आफ्टर सो मेनी डेज ओके और यू कैन से इतने दिनों के बाद वह हंस रहा है ही इज लाफिंग आफ्टर सो मेनी डेज ओके और यू कैन से इतने मीठे फल हैं सच अ ब्यूटिफुल और लाइक स्वीट यू नो फ्रूट्स इतने मीठे फल फ्रूट्स हैं इतने मीठे फल हैं सो दिस इज ऑर्ट ऑफ योर इतने सो द पॉइंट हियर इज you can not only use these in smaller expressions but all the sentences we've been making you can use these expressions in those uh, longer sentences as well and i that's the whole point i do want to encourage you to to use this in your you know regular conversations wherever possible where you want to qualify something you know in quantity okay uh, let's take a pause here and let's ask some of you to to form longer sentences so tara ji i'll start with you and then again folks who are watching live on facebook uh, you know i want you to try as well don't don't stay back right i want you to practice um, and let me this time actually before tara ji says let me um, read what our friends are saying on facebook so shireen ji is saying itni dilchasp hindi ki class aur she is saying itne mehang itni mehangi cheez hai ye awesome um um okay so tisa ji saying itne sare din aur itne sare shabd okay awesome great itna sara koila very good ash is saying itna sara koila koila is coal for those of you who are not familiar koila okay uh, and the way you will write it in in this is how you write koila k with o y and then la कोयला इतना सारा कोयला इंटरेस्टिंग मेंशन दैट वर्ड एनीवे इतने दिनों के बाद क्रिसमस आएगा दैट्स व्हाट अतिशा जी सेइंग दैट्स राइट ओके तारा जी बैक टू यू यूज इट इतना इतना कठिन भाषा इतनी कठिन भाषा सच सच अ डिफिकल्ट लैंग्वेज ओके इतनी ओके दैट्स राइट इतनी किताबें पढ़ने के बाद ओके वेरी गुड इतना खाना खाने के बाद भी मुझे भूख लग रही है राइट यू कैन से दैट आई एम स्टिल हंगरी आफ्टर ईटिंग सो मच फूड आसन डिमित्री ओके okay, पराठा बहुत इतना अच्छा है और इतना अच्छा यू नो खाना है ओके इंटरेस्टिंग है ओके लोग इतने इंटरेस्टिंग है ऑसम राइट नवनीत यू वॉन्ट गिव ड्राई इतनी बड़ी किताब है ओके ग्रेट एंड इतना अच्छा किताब है इतनी अच्छी ओके ग्रेट इतनी अच्छी किताब है ओके यू कैन से दैट एज वेल ऑसम सो दिस इज योर टाइप थ्री सो लेट्स गेट गोइंग एंड 
so hopefully this is clear and um, i think we're doing reasonable with time as well so in type 4 i'm gonna just you know not only uh, not okay so i'm gonna erase this and we will do some more uh, variations of it okay we'll do some variations of that um so now uh give me one minute Not right now. But please. Behind the class, behind the class, please. I want to play. Please. Behind the class, please, Adi, please. Why? इतने शरारती बच्चे हैं. इतने समय के बाद इतने सारे लोगों ने जश्न मना रहे हैं. That's great. Um, now, Anya ji is also saying, इतने दिनों के बाद वह सो रही है. Um, Christina J is saying, "Itne mange tohfe hai." You know, such an expensive, um, you know, prizes. Awesome. So, so type four is like you know, not only we used you know, uh, itna, itni, and itne. Can we use some post positions along with that? Now. Most of you probably are already familiar with you know post positions. Uh, we've learned a lot of post positions like ne, me, pe, ka, ke, ki, uh, you know, uh, uh, par. Uh, not all of them can be used with itna, itni, and itne. Okay, in this class, I want to focus on just one of the post position. Okay. Uh, and you will see it used quite frequently. And that post position is uh, me. Okay, me. Okay, itne, itne me. And most cases, in in fact, all the cases, it will be used with. If you're using me, it will be used with itne. Okay, itne me. So essentially, your Word is itne me, and you the way you will write it in Devanagari. You have a e, the, and na with a, and me. Itne me. Can anyone guess what it means? Taraji or Dimitri, what do you think it means? Itne me. In this much, okay, that's a good guess. That's a good guess, and there are usage of you know itne me where it is like itne me mera kya hoga? What will I do with this? Just like this much, itne me, or itne me kuch nahi aata hai. Like let's say you have some amount of money and you go buy something, and the response is like itne me kuch nahi aayega. Okay, uh, the other usage which are more common are. Meantime, in the meantime, in the meantime, okay, in the meantime or meanwhile, okay, and you will see a lot of usage of that. Itne me, okay. Um, so, let's say an example could be: uh, I am teaching a class, and in the meantime, itne me barish aagi. Okay, so I'm teaching a class while I was teaching the class. Itne me, itne me, barish, barish, shuru, ho gayi. Okay, if you say barish shuru ho gayi, that means it has started raining. If I say itne me barish shuru ho gayi, that means you are doing some action, and while you are doing some that action, it does something started happening. Okay, you just say that. Okay, मैं घर के बाहर निकला ही था. I just stepped outside the house. Okay, मैं घर के बाहर निकला. इतने में बारिश शुरू हो गई. And it just started, you know, raining. Okay, इतने में बारिश शुरू हो गई. Hear me out. 
uh, you know it may sound complex but uh, you know I'm gonna give you more examples okay uh, you can say uh, may um, let's say a lot of time you know uh, you know you go to uh, especially in India like you know if you go to a train station there's a lot of like you know snack shops or chai shops or vendors on the station on the platform okay um, and it's a last minute thing that you know as soon as the train is about to depart you want to you feel hungry right you want to buy something and the person can say that you know main uh, chai khareed raha tha itne mein itne mein train itne mein train uh, uh, miss ho gayi aur chali gayi itne mein train chali gayi while i was you know uh, making a purchase you know the train left itne mein train miss ho gayi okay um itne mein wo bimar ho gaya usne uh, let's say you you know the person you know eats some you know street food like a you know, pani puri or something you can say usne thoda sa khana khaya itne mein wah bimar ho gaya so you see it's used for to indicate mean in the meantime or meanwhile okay so let me take a pause here and let me ask some of you to see if you can you know still if you can get it or you know there are some uh, challenges you are facing uh, tara ji ओके इतने में बिजली चली गई ऑसम मैं टीवी देख रही थी आई वॉज वॉचिंग टी वी इतने में यू नो बिजली चली गई ऑसम ग्रेट यू नो ट्राई मोर ओके वेलकम बैक डिमिट्री हाँ इतने इतने में अध्यापक का बेटा आ गया और खेलना चाहता है ग्रेट नवनीत यू वांट टू गिव इट ट्राई इतने में हिंदी क्लास में पढ़ता हो गया आई थिंक यू मिक्स टू मेनी थिंग्स ट्राई वन मोर टाइम Say it in English. What are you trying to say? I am studying for Hindi class. I am studying. I am. Meantime, I will study for Hindi class. Okay. So meantime, in the meantime, um, itne me. In the meantime, uh, okay. So let me let me think about it. Itne me. So uh, what? what you are saying you know the other, the other way would be jab tak jab tak in the meantime while jab tak main hindi aur tab tak main hindi padhunga tab tak main hindi padhunga jab tak so you know so that's another way of saying it what you are trying to say i will say it like that tab tak main hindi की पढ़ाई करूंगा तब तक मैं हिंदी पढ़ूंगा ओके दैट्स हाउ आई विल से इट द व्हाट यू आर ट्राइंग टू से यू नो आई फाइव टू हेल्प यू इतने में हिंदी की क्लास शुरू हो गई यू नो और इतने में इतने में क्लास शुरू हिंदी की क्लास शुरू हो गई you can say that while i was uh, um playing or doing something itne mein class shuru ho gayi okay that's sort of like you know i'm i'm trying to fit <laughs> your sentence 
uh, you know, with, with this. Um, um, I'll give one more sentence here and then we can kind of like, you know, uh, let's see what our other friends are saying. Um, so, you know, let's say you, you know, and this is just like a thing that was coming in my mind. Itne mein wa bhaag gaya. Or itne mein. So, jab tak, you can say, jab tak police aai, itne mein chor bhaag gaya. Gaya is the past of like, you know, uh, jana. Like, chor bhaag gaya. Or bhaag gaya is like, you know, he, he ran away. Chor is thief. Itne mein is like, wh while the, the, you know, the cops were coming, itne mein chor bhaag gaya. Like, you know, uh, in the meantime, he kind of ran away. Okay. So, I hope, you know, at least you have better understanding of using uh, this adjective, which is used to, you know, uh, quantify something. Uh, we started learning about in the beginning type one sentences where we were using itna, itni, and itne. Okay, in type two we use them with keywords like sa and you know sara. Or, so itna sa versus itna sara, itni si or itni sari, itne se or itne sare. Okay, in type three sentences we used longer you know uh, sentences such as like itna, itna lamba ladka hai. Okay. Or itna bura anubhav hua. I had such a bad experience. Okay. Or meri trip itni, um, you know, itni achi thi. Okay. You're using adjectives, but along with that, you are qualifying that adjective. Um, you will see in type 3, the longer sentences we made, a lot of Hindi songs and Hindi movie, you know, will have that expression. Okay. Um, I'm going to let you guys do some research on that uh, okay and in type 4 we kind of discuss that you know these itna especially itni uh, itne can be used with uh, you know some uh, post positions as well such as me itne me meanwhile or meantime okay uh, so i'll you know we can you know take a pause here and then uh, next week it's a it's a holiday week actually it's a christmas week so i'm not 100% sure whether we'll have it a class or not. I'll try my best. If I'm not traveling, uh, we'll definitely have a class. Okay. But um, um, uh, thanks for everyone who joined the class. I'll, you know, definitely share the class if you think it was useful. If it helped you, you know, learn some new, um, you know, concepts in Hindi. And, um, and that's it. I'm going to open it up for questions for folks who are, um, you know, uh, watching you know, on, on Google Hangouts. So thanks so much for folks who...